Uzumaki episode one. What were my thoughts on it? I liked it. That was pretty decent. Scary because, uh, well, that's just Uzumaki in general, okay? This is coming from a guy who's read the manga, okay? That thing will give you, uh, I don't know how to call it, but goosebumps. It's, it's actually beyond goosebumps at this at this point. Junji Ito is, is, is a guy that, if you think of anything, he can think of anything and just make it scary, you know? When it comes to Uzumaki, which means spiral in Japanese, like, he just... It's, it's a lot if you were to ever pick up the manga, but listen, I knew about the announcement It was gonna be on Adult Swim and I'm thinking okay um, It looks all right like I saw the trailer and everything but I didn't feel like it was gonna capture That uh, creepiness behind it and so I saw it on HBO You know, I was gonna watch the penguin a little bit, you know I was gonna get into the house of the dragons because I've never seen this series people have said that first season that that was good and then the second season i don't know where that's at and i don't want to get into a tangent because i got adhd but i saw it and i'm just like oh this is good <laughs> like this is hey this is creepy this is too much okay but let's get into it right so the story follows a girl named kiri um i'm always forgetting her name because honestly guys if you read the manga she really just she doesn't really do a whole lot like like she's uh she's like victorious off of victoria is that her name victorious who's the girl who's the main character off of victorious kiri goshima is this girl that um her town um i'm, I'm just listen if you thought places like chicago uh la and other places was rough buddy you haven't consumed uzumaki because i would sh I, I would live in a ditch before i lived kurazucho goodness i speak japanese i just don't know how to speak it yeah this town is weird and obviously in the beginning and it, it, this just like in a manga she narrates and says hey this is a weird ass town wait and listen if you if you are if you have initiated you know why what she says is really eerie if you're not initiated you're going to get initiated but yeah those uh, that narration is a little bit creepy watch <laughs> you're gonna see in the end but uh it's but you know town is weird they got like these spirals they got like dust devils or whatever now what i found interesting is that uh the show combined uh certain chapters it combined the first chapter uh that was with the whole dad thing it combined chapter three you know the girl with the scar on her forehead and it also combined chapter eight the snail which the snail honestly to me although chapter three is iconic because it got that one chick the snail is by far just one of the creepiest chapters is honestly better than the chapter three the scar um but i see that they did it my thoughts on that particular i don't really have a problem with that um i i didn't think it was anything that i think they're, you're going to have to combine chapters you know because this this story does get really complex and confusing especially i don't want to spoil too much one of the chapters is called the storm post that it gets crazy okay i can't wait to see them animate uh the mosquitoes that's my favorite and i think the scariest chapter but we're gonna see in the beginning she's walking and she's about to go meet with her boyfriend now honestly she meets they didn't they didn't put this in the show but she actually sees her boyfriend's dad first so he's like looking at a snail and this is where we see the first glimpses of him being obsessed with the spiral she is her boyfriend and let me tell you something this guy knows damn near everything i'm not even joking he's the type like he is i wouldn't say the mvp of this series or the book there was no MVP, but he, he definitely is really knowledgeable on it. I, I mean, I, I would have to say so. But she meets him at the train, and uh, they go. he goes to a different school. Of course, in the show, they combine Chapter 3 with that one chick with the scar on her forehead. Kiri and Azami pretty much go to the station. They meet uh, her boyfriend. And then off the rip, the guy is spazzing out. Rightfully so. I mean, look at her haircut. Like... I would also, like, do you also have a map in a monkey, too? And, you know, she's obviously been influenced by the spiral. And the spiral is just, like, this entity that has consumed the whole town. All right? It's pretty much uh, the, 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 the ditty. You know what I'm saying? 
I would say it's sort of Lovecraftian. Like, this thing gets really weird. Okay, this is like, this is space, this is a, what is it called? Space horror? Uh, is that what it's called? Space horror? Is that the genre? Like, outer, like, interdimensional stuff? It gets weird. But, in the show, in the show, again, it cuts back different chapters. We get, uh, Shirichi's dad, and he's super obsessed, and to the point where he's, like, spinning his own eyes he, he gotta spin the bathtub and, and he becomes a freak okay you know uh, honestly he 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 been playing nasty girl from from tanaje and he his whole tongue becomes a spiral to the point that he becomes a spiral himself in a pot breaking all his bones and dying and when they have the funeral service, they cremate his body. The fumes end up becoming a spiral, and the mo and, Kuri and Surich's mom spazzes out. He sees him in the in the clouds and the fumes, and she goes crazy. The show is also showing aspects of chapter two because chapter two, Surich's mom. Well, let's just say she becomes a fiend, and I really do feel bad for her. But damn, anything spiral related she becomes like a crackhead finding heroin okay she goes crazy <laughs> okay the spiral ends up going to dragonfly pond which when you watch or read the book that place is significant like i think junji, junji ito when it comes to don't listen do not sleep on junji ito's world building because he's got world building world building is not just uh, like a one piece you go to different islands no, 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 world building can happen all in one town, right? It's it's pretty impressive. So you have that. So the show, again, the show didn't really get into chapter two with Shuchio's mother, but it did go into chapter three with uh, Zami. And again, she's obsessed with Surichi. She wants him, okay? All the other boys are infatuated with, with her. She, or infatu yeah, inf infatuated with her, if I can speak proper English. Yeah, she's got the, uh, she's definitely Duke Dennis, you know. She's got that unspoken riz. When Kiri sees Azami, right, she was missing from school for a little bit. She noticed that her scar gets bigger and bigger. Well, to the point where, like, yeah, like, <laughs> her eyeball is, like, swirling in the back of her head. Like, it's disgusting, it's disturbing, but that is Junji Ito, okay? I really want to get into more of his books. You know, I, I think it's really interesting. In my opinion, I think the manga, uh, it, it feels more gruesome and more scary than compared to the show. But like I said, I don't think the show was gonna, going to 100% capture that eeriness behind it. But it, I, I still, they tried and I still think they did a pretty decent job. You know, the, the, the sim wanted to get into her, to her good good. You could say that her, 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 her sweetness. Okay, he even bought her a Birkin bag, dude. The, the man was simping, and he was pissed off when she still rejected him. And so that's when she sucked him. Not in that way, but she literally became a whole vortex and was sucking uh, everything, including the simp. Also, within the same episode, they show hints of the snail. And this is where we get into Katsuma. He's the slow guy who looks uh, sus as hell. Who is super slow it's interesting because kiri in this one compared to the show in the manga she actually had her hair cut and that's because of a, a of a of a prior chapter medusa where she I, I think they're going to maybe animate that in the next episode but let's just say that there was this um there was this petty ass chick and you know how chicks be getting sometimes they be getting jealous of each other yeah they wanted to one up each other uh, and it all has to do with hair. I don't want to I don't want to get into that too much because I would rather you guys watch in this episode She has her hair long. I don't want to spoil too much with this but in the manga Katsuma becomes a creature. This is it's a freaky book Uzumaki is a freaky book. It's a great book um, If you haven't read it, you gotta read it. Don't read it at night though You will get nightmares and night terrors. It's a freaky ass book. Okay, the show I think so far is doing it justice Again, I'm gonna see how it goes. You know, I do like the whole black and white aesthetic. I think in certain, because obviously the book, not Avo, in certain pages, the book does get a little bit colored, but the majority of the book, just like every regular manga, is black and white. There's no color. Um, and I really like that. I think this could be, this could be 
You never know. This could go down as anime of the year. I have no idea. Some people will think, oh, them even adding these from different chapters will make it discombobulated. I, I, don't, I don't see it. Not yet. Maybe it could happen. I always want to just be cautious about that. But again, I think we're going to see. It's going to be interesting how they're going to cover the ending of the series. But I don't think it was that bad. I don't, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Bye.